Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. In this video we will talk about what characteristic features the Scandinavian style has in landscape design, what techniques can be used in the implementation of the concept, what techniques are created to form the desired atmosphere. Landscaping helps to make the local area very cozy and well-groomed. A special love for nature is felt in its design. And this does not happen by chance. In the Scandinavian countries, the summer is very short and their inhabitants are eager to enjoy its beauty. Characteristic features of the northern direction to make everything work out as needed, experts use basic techniques when creating a Scandinavian garden. Landscaping on the side should be at the same time – simple, restrained, orderly, functional and natural. When drawing up a plan, it is important to take into account not only the general features of the direction, but also the mentality of the people living in the northern part of Europe. They live where summer is very short and winter takes two-thirds of the year. Outside the window during this period, snow drifts and grey fog. The soil warms up badly, therefore the local landscape stones, mosses and low trees. Grass and shrubs are pleasing to the eye only for a short time. Norwegians and Finns, Swedes and Dans value it, so they try to decorate their plots with at least some kind of greenery. They cannot plant bright flowers, lush plants, fruit, trees. Anything that grows helps create a uniform landscape design. You can add colors to it using bright decorations. That is why in the Scandinavian garden there are always wooden sculptures, stone compositions, small architectural forms, arches, wooden arbors, benches. General landscaping is formed with evergreen conifers. The Scandinavians give them unusual shapes, make sculptures or living fences of them, square green rooms or simply multi-tired structures that significantly unliven the exterior. They are located in a small area. Very often, only on five acres you can see paths lined with stone, small green lawns, group plantings of conifers and dwarf trees, as well as vegetation that resembles the vegetation of a wild forest. The Scandinavian fence is lost in it. It is often made of wood, so landscaping looks quite natural against its background. Closer to the house, fenced-in flower beds are being broken. Alongside the paths, original benches are lined up. They can pick up an evenly trimmed hedge with their backs. Unlike the regular style, the Scandinavian garden does not have a clear geometric pattern. This will explain why designers consider the described direction to the plastic and lively. It is constantly changing, but its main features have become well recognizable. The Scandinavian style is ideal for those who own an area where plants grow and develop poorly. In this case, experts recommend decorating parts of the territory with stone boulders and making them the central part of the design. But here it is important to observe the aesthetics and not collect alpine slides. There should not be many stones in a Scandinavian garden, only large boulders of the same size, laid next to each other, or compositions formed from flat stones stacked in the form of step will look good. If you use a material of different type and origin, it will turn out very beautifully. Everything will do – large cobblestone, colorful granite, sea pebbles, polished in a natural way. With it you can make a path running like a snake across the green lawn. Let her rest against one single boulder, center of happiness. If the garden is properly decorated, guests walking around the site will appreciate a find like this. It is good to put a light-colored bench next to the boulder. 
then it will be pleasant to rest on it and enjoy a friendly conversation. In the described style, paths paved with stones of different sizes are often used. This is another characteristic feature of the style. Shapes are irregular or have large elevation differences. In addition to that, you can put stone arches, form quarters, and run a stream along them. Complex stone compositions can act as a fence. Experts recommend using a tree as a companion. The combination of two natural materials makes it possible to obtain very beautiful and functional objects that can become the centerpiece of a Scandinavian garden. It is important to learn one more distinctive feature of the described direction. When implementing the concept, it is necessary to use all the characteristic features of the natural site. If you choose Scandinavian style, you do not need to create landscaping from scratch. It is better to beat what is already there in the desired style. There is no need to uproot a wooden stump. It can act as a stand for a flower pot. A red wood with a hollow can be easily transformed into an art object with effort. It can be decorated like an owl house, put a bird figure in on a dried twig, and hang a flower pot. If you put a gnome or a troll under such a tree, the overall picture will definitely add up. Furniture It is necessarily present in the gardens of peoples living in the northern countries of Europe. It does not use plastic garden furniture. Most often, rattan chairs or sofas, wrought metal headsets are purchased. Items made by waving vines may appear next to them. Baskets, supplies, trays – they are not just decorations. All items are used for their intended purpose. With the help of them, some interesting compositions are created. For example, flowers in Scandinavian are rarely planted in the soil. Most often they are planted in wicker pots. They are exhibited outside for the summer and then brought home in cold weather. A Scandinavian style garden may have a vegetable garden. Here it looks more like flower beds, with clear boundaries formed by stone cobblestones. The neat vegetable beds have a strict geometric shape. The paths between them are covered with sand. Chalet style is also called alpine style, and this is no coincidence. It originated in the highlands on the border of France and Switzerland. Despite the fact that the architectural style of the chalet originated in the 18th century, this trend is still developing in modern landscape design. Alpine style cannot be applied everywhere. For example, in a lowland with flat terrain, it will not work to create a full-fledged mountain garden with all the desire. The owners of a plot with uneven terrain are extremely lucky. Slopes and hills, mountain streams and large boulders. This is all that is needed to create a chalet garden. The best part is that even a small plot of several acres can be arranged in this way. What you need to consider when creating an alpine style? The house should rise above the entire site. High walls and partitions are unacceptable. Outbuildings are placed in the same zone close to each other. There must be a natural or artificial reservoir. Small architectural forms, pergolas, gazebos, should be located near the house. For the design of rockeries, mainly coniferous trees and shrubs are used, which tolerate climatic conditions and stony soil well. Exotic plants do not fit the style, no plastic and chrome metal in decor, only natural materials such as wood and stone are used. When decorating a garden in a landscape chalet style, you can use cracked ceramic jugs lying on their side. Flowers and herbs are planted next to such a broken vessel. Broken clay pots, baskets and other things no longer needed in everyday life may well come in handy for decorating an alpine garden. By the way, 
any sources of water are an integral part of the alpine style, so such a wonderful gift from Mother Nature as this waterfall turned out to be truly priceless. If you are not very lucky and there are no natural reservoirs on the site, don't worry. Dry streams with bridges thrown over them or small artificial ponds will create the situation. You can launch floating figures of dogs into the lake or install a sculpture in the form of a crane or a heron. The picturesque chalet-style mountain garden does not require special care. Plants living in stony soil do not need fertilizers, waterings and transplants. And rockeries, alpine slides, ponds and compositions with decorative buildings made of natural materials can decorate any landscape. In our video we will talk about the Mediterranean style of landscape design. It is ideal for small areas and does not require constant maintenance. The main difficulty in its arrangement is landscaping, but this task is quite within the power of lovers of the sun and Mediterranean exotism. The Mediterranean sea, the sun, sandy and stone beaches, rocky shores, a ride of greenery, flowers and internal rest. Creating such a piece of paradise in our small and not at all south and side will be the main task of the owner who has chosen this style. You can equip the site guided by general principles or you can focus on the style of a particular country – Greece, Italy, Turkey. The most important thing to remember is that the general appearance of the site should not remind you of the hard work invested in the creation of landscape design, but should be conducive to serene relaxation and fun. Composition principles and zoning issues By the principle of construction, the Mediterranean style is close to the Moorish – a small area, a backyard patio, a blank fence. But many Mediterranean chalets have open front gardens on the front side of the house and the task is reliably hiding your life is not set. The most interesting feature of the compositional solution is the absence of a center. All elements fulfill their intended purpose and there is absolutely no need to take care of their semantic connection with each other. The appearance of the style does not gravitate towards the novelty and good quality of the buildings. The main thing is that they be whitewashed and painted in traditional colors for the style – white, blue, yellow, terracotta. Perspective and Mediterranean style planning 
The coast of the Mediterranean Sea in many places is a cliff, abruptly breaking off the water. This makes Mediterranean landscaping a great find for slopes or hilltops. The more blue skies you can see from the highest points of the lot, the better. Such a perspective will create the illusion of the close presence of the sea, a special mood. It is very important to provide a sense of the boundlessness of the sky. It's great if at least one side of the site opens up a view of distant horizons, and there is no place for tall trees that block the view. Small forms, fountains, paths are characteristic features of the style. A very important advantage that distinguishes it from ethnic gardens that are rather difficult to style is a huge number of elements, methods and design techniques that will easily and effortlessly help make the style recognizable. The device of the fountain is not a prerequisite. But merely murmuring jets of water falling into a stone bowl will unleaven the composition and create the right mood. When creating a fountain, you can safely use both expensive natural materials and cobblestones at hand. In the composition of the fountain, you can use statues, bas reliefs, frescoes. Unlike the fountains of Mauritania or China, Mediterranean fountains can huddle in secluded corners without claiming special attention. Picturesque ruins are a simple stylization technique in the device. You can use parts of statues, fragments of pottery, parts of facade decorations, stylized Greek and Roman columns. Unlike most ethnic styles, the Mediterranean involves the presence of a large number of different sculptures depicting people, animals, heroes of myths and legends. Sculptures can be freestanding, they can be an element of compositional groups, but even here it is very important to show a sense of proportion and taste. A huge number of senselessly placed sculptures of style will not add to the garden. Mediterranean style paths are laid according to one rule, to make it convenient. Mostly for the paths, paving with natural stone, tiles of natural colors are used. In various areas of the garden, you can lay out areas of non-strict geometric shapes from natural solid stone slabs. The hallmark of the Mediterranean are clay pots, amphoras, vessels, in whole of broken form. They must be present in the form of flower pots, parts of sculptural and fountain compositions, and simply by themselves. Garden furniture this is the rare case when almost any furniture will do. Open work forged benches, vintage tables and chairs, stone and even marble benches, placed in the most comfortable corners of the garden. Pergola, Mediterranean gazebo. The Mediterranean style recreation area is characterized by the presence of pergolas or open canopies. Initially, the pergola was a structure that supported the vine and over time has become a hallmark of Mediterranean landscape design. It is best to place them in places that offer the best view. Most often wood is used to make pergolas, but both stone and forged metal can be used. Usually a recreation area is placed next to the barbecue area. Recently popular brick freezers will fit perfectly into the style, especially if you place nearby arcs twinned with greenery, open work lattices, on which you can hang pots and containers with flowers. Mediterranean style landscaping. At first glance, it may seem that the selection of plants and caring for them is a very complicated matter, but this is not entirely true. Mediterranean style allows some neglect. We can say that this style is just a godsend for those who like to take care of their garden, but do not spend a lot of time cutting and weeding. When arranging a garden, you can do without exotic heat-loving plants and use those that are able to all winter in the open field. For example, in recent years, Breeders have been delighting gardeners with new frost-resistant grape varieties. 
the vine of which has bright, juicy greenery, at the same time is able to bear fruit, creating the desired color and mood. An irreplaceable plant is girlish or wild grapes. In a few years it will cover all the vertical surfaces of the site without requiring special care. Also climbing roses, clematis, adlumia, honeysuckle are perfect for vertical gardening. Plants in pots and containers will unliven this landscape. They can be arranged and hung literally everywhere on the walls and windows of the house, on the fence and pergola, on trees, next to garden furniture. The brighter and more bright the color palette, the better. Colonial style is one of the most popular landscape design styles that originated in America and became popular in Europe due to its unabrotiveness and cozy atmosphere. A comfortable residential building with an open veranda, a green lawn under the sun and comfortable garden furniture. This is how the colonial style of the garden is represented, where the main goal is idle rest. A minimum of care for the landscape of the site and a maximum of opportunities for meditation and relaxation. Today the colonial style and landscape design is one of the most popular trends. A rose is a result of the activities of the American colonists. Over time, this direction has spread throughout the globe. To design your suburban space in this style, you should adhere to the following recommendations. The landscape design of the suburban area should be in harmony with the residential building. That is why this direction is considered an excellent solution for small houses with several verandas, which should be located so that the sun bows fill them. For even more impression and style, it is required that parts of the verandas wrap around a pond or some other waving plants so it will turn out to achieve coolness in the garden. Brick, board and stone – these are the building materials that are inherent in the colonial direction. Garden paths should be paved with flagstone or wooden decking. The simplest option for decorating paths is wood chips, which will make the site sloppy, which is most appropriate for the colonial style. The fence and barriers should be made of plant boards. Often in colonial gardens I use a picket fence, which is painted white and is perfect for zoning the territory located along the paths. Forged pods will also organically fit into the colonial style landscaping. Arches, pergolas, arbors and benches made of forged metal emphasize the sophistication of the style. Moreover, they have durability, strength, practicality and ease of use. As for plants, excessive simplicity is not suitable for this direction. It is recommended to plant plants in clay peas or tubes of white or brown color. This design technique makes it possible to grow plants in our climatic conditions. Such plants, unusual for our gardens, must be brought into a heated room for the winter, otherwise they will simply die. Among the flowers, it is often worth giving preference to peonies, delphiniums, tulips, tephodilis. 
Also, the main feature of the colonial style is presence of exotics in the garden, which can be greenery made in the form of complex figures. Stone or wooden garden figures of animal can act as a decoration of colonial garden. The presence of a small fountain on the territory makes it possible to emphasize the atmosphere of appeasement. An excellent solution would be the arrangement of a decorative reservoir with a recreation area decorated nearby, where benches, wicker chairs and sun launchers are placed. Appropriate for the colonial style arrangement of classic garden furniture. Various wicker items, wooden rocking chairs and hammocks. All this will fit perfectly into the stylistic direction. You can decorate furniture with soft pillows and seat inserts. Colonial Garden Layout In line with the idea that the garden should be located behind the house, which comes to the fore and becomes especially common landscape design, Behind it, soothing views of boughs and fields escaping into the distance open up. The house should be painted in subtle shades and is characterized by simplicity of coloring. An open terrace should be built in front of the house. If the territory of the site has a pronounced elevation difference, then there are several terraces of different places. At the same time, they should not overlap each other, but allow you to admire the aesthetics of the colonial hall from different corners. In the colonial style suburban space, a vegetable garden is set up that grows vegetables and other crops. Outside the recreation area, garden on the security side, you can allocate a children's playground or sport ground, as well as allocate a place for a barbecue or grill area. It all depends on the design decision and the preferences of the owners. The layout of the suburban area can create a sense of chaos, but this is only at first glance. If you look closely, you can see that it is subordinate to the objects that designers build when designing landscape design. Like many other styles in landscape design, the colonial section separates functional areas. If compared with a terrestrial style, it can be noted that here a clear division into zones is not visible, but nevertheless, its presence is necessary for the ordering of the site. Such gardens allow for some carelessness and naturalness, but still it should not be as pronounced as in country style. The aesthetics of the colonial style does not imply possible illiteracy and aesthetic taste for the functional areas of the zone. The house should be located at the beginning of the site and the garden in the backyard. For large plots, an option with the construction of several terraces is suitable, from which a picturesque view of the surrounding landscape will open. In the center of the site, a decorative pond or fountain should be equipped. If the choice fell on a decorative pond, then it would be appropriate to lay its coastline with stones and decorate it with shrubs, which will give it naturalness. The fountain is best designed in a classic style. It is better to choose a stone for its construction, and sculptures can be used as decoration around it. The best place for arranging the fountain will be a terrace or a wall of the house. Behind the reservoir you can arrange a small green lawn or garden area. A few well-grown beds will come in handy in this direction. Fruit trees can be planted around them, but it's worth paying attention to the fact that crowns should not obscure the beds either. Behind the garden, Mono organized a recreation area in which a wrought iron gazebo or a classic bench will fit perfectly, depending on the preferences of the owners of the site and the design project.
The English style of landscape design, also called the natural style, rose at the same time as the romantic style in art, so they are characterized by common features. They are designed to inspire, give pleasure, tranquility and a feeling of complete relaxation. Such an English garden imitates the environment as much as possible. At first glance, it is not difficult to recreate such an atmosphere on your own, but it is necessary to take into account the specifics of the relief and flora, to have a good taste. The natural look of the details, the smoothness and softness of the lines of the park are extremely important. Compositions in the garden of English gardeners are characterized by symmetry and geometric shapes. Every corner of the site requires careful organization. An English garden style will never be too arrogant. The emphasis is on solemnity and restraint, but visual rigor always struggles with a sublime beginning. Therefore, the well-thought-out layouts of the English garden leaves an indelible impression. Once in such a garden, it is as if you are meeting with a real Brayton, strict, modest, refined. But knowing it more deeply, you will know the true nature. Dreamy. The history of the landscape style. England is considered the most garden European country. It made a great contribution to world culture. The first park areas in the vicinity of London were typical, as in other parts of the world at that time. The Romans equipped them in their villas, and in the Middle Ages, apothecary gardens were made in their monastic courtyards, in castles, small flower beds in the form of a family coat of arms. In the 17th century, the fashion for Dutch and French gardens spread among the British, which were distinguished by their straightforwardness and geometric shapes. Some shrubs were even designed to look like an ancient god or animal. But with the advent of the 18th century, landscaping trends changed dramatically and the first English gardens appeared. Forms began to square and lines acquired curvature. Flora returned to her natural appearance. The British realized that nothing is more beautiful than naturalness. Since that time, people have learned to see real beauty and not invented and artificially created. Another style of English garden that became popular in France and Northern Europe is the late 18th century English cottage garden. The gardens of English landscape designers, as a rule, were recreated over a large area. What decor elements were used by garden designers in landscape design? Lawn. The lawn should be trimmed neatly and naturally. Around it are concentrated flower beds, trees, shrubs, meadows. The edges of the lawn can be decorated with mix borders. These are oblong beds decorated with conifers crops with artistic chaos. Walls of flowers and hatches will help to make sunning and create coziness. Pond. A pond in an English garden is an essential attribute. The British often place compact reservoirs throughout the garden area or one large lake but with a bridge over it. Willows are planted near the water. There are dwarf varieties. Water lilies, reeds and landscaping with dark wheat completes the lake. Walkways in the English style of the garden. The English garden paths often wind and connect different zones. You can pave them with the help of natural materials – sandstone or cobblestone. Flower beds In the English garden, flower beds are formed from unpretentious flowers. In mixed borders, they are grouped by species and planted densely to create a beautiful combination of high and low steams. But stick to the mono concept and choose two or three types, which you can play with the shades and contrasts in the English garden. Plants. Garden crops need to look luxury because they need to withstand the atmosphere of rich world decoration, based on the climatic conditions of your region, so that the flower beds look aesthetically pleasing throughout the year. They stand out against the background of snow, bloom with the rays of the summer sun and delight with colors in autumn and spring. Proceeding from this, suitable. 
coniferous crops that retain an attractive appearance in any season. The porch can be decorated with baskets of dwarf plants. Geranium, lavender, iris are traditional flowers for England. In the spring, the British put boxes and pots of tulips and daffodils on the streets. In summer, outdoor decorative vases can be decorated with garden balsams, pansy violets, and marigolds. Flowers can decorate not only flower beds but also window sills, steps. Liana or ivy is planted directly against the wall. With a loyal air temperature, such a hat remains presentable for a long time. Landscape Park, the best place for wisteria, grapes, honeysuckle, and garden roses. English style garden. What decor elements to use? Landscape English style in landscape design provides for the unity of the design of the house and the backyard. Therefore, there are forged fences, a chimney, dark wooden panels on the walls, and avo covered with ivy or an arc. What elements can be used in an English garden? Materials Straw, brick, stone, shell rock Decorative elements Wicker fans, benches, baskets, all cars, ceramic flower pots The color palette is moderate, light and delicate a loud grey, cream, pink, the whole spectrum of green. In general, the English style in landscape design is an exquisite imitation of nature. This style was inspired by painting and its design was influenced by many disciplines such as history, philosophy and science. English garden design changed gardening forever and influenced many homeowners to bring a sense of nature to their own backyards of these days. If free space does not allow you to roam, choose one corner and decorate it in English. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.